We've got a couple Sony stories here. I'll go ahead and combine them. This is from BNN Bloomberg. Sony betting big on next VR headset with increased production plan. They're basically they're the uh, PSVR 2. They plan to make 2 million units of the PlayStation VR 2 headset by March next year. People familiar with the matter said, said an ambitious outlook and advice the global economic malaise. I I don't know if they can get 2 million because that's, I mean, that's a lot considering that the, the shortages, I'm saying. So that's why they said, you know, an ambitious outlook. Shares in Sony rose 2.4% in Tokyo on Monday and the stock's biggest jump in six weeks. But vast, you know, talking about mass production of the virtual reality goggles began in September and hasn't yet, hasn't yet faced supply chain constraints, said the people who asked not to be identified discussing private information. But then they're all, you know, so the number could be adjusted depending on the device's sales momentum once it released, once it's released early next year. I mean, I could see it selling pretty well. Because like, as it says right here, you know, Sony's roadmap for the PSVR 2 anticipates much greater popularity than the company's preceding PlayStation VR goggles. I don't know about much greater, but I mean, it's, they're, they're, it's good they're being ambitious, I guess. Which took eight months to reach a million sales. Meta's Quest 2, the most popular VR headset today, shipped 2.8 million units in its first quarter of availability. So basically, they're not saying that the PSVR 2 will be the most popular, but that it will sell 2 million, you know, pretty damn quick. And, and again, I, you know, VR, I've had so many people for years talking about how VR is the next big thing in gaming. And it's, it's just not, because it's not there. You know, only certain games can be in, in, in VR. Now, the ones that can be, though, like Resident Evil 7, that is a game that I would highly recommend if you can. Now, because it's it's a first person. If you don't know much about Resident Evil Seven, it's a first person like survival horror game. It's it's really scary. It's really well done, really well made. Capcom is really good at these you know types of games and stuff. Uh, it is a. It, it might. It's. I don't play much VR because of various reasons. I had motion sickness, headaches, that kind of stuff, which is one of the problems that's kind of limiting. VR in general, but it, it depends on the person and stuff. But point is, you know, Sony is very confident apparently about this, so you know, we'll see. The other story is that the PlayStation 5 has been jailbroken. I won't go into much about this. I will link it in the description box. It's from at ManFightDragon on Twitter. You know, there's a video here. I'm not gonna play it. Uh, it's it's they it says rewrite. Right now, it doesn't have like code execution. That's only a matter of time. I won't. I don't want to go into too much detail because this kind of stuff is just really. Um, I don't even know the right way to describe it, but it's really dicey kind of stuff. You don't want to talk. You know, basically, jailbreaking has to do with like modding and emulators and all that kind of stuff. So it's eh, you know, it's, it's a little dicey. But anyway, they have, there's a whole article about it and stuff. Uh, it, it's, it's exciting, I suppose. If you're really into this kind of stuff, it's exciting. It's cool. It's, it, it could be big. I do expect you know Sony will come back and they'll try to fight it. And they'll have a, a new firmware update that will basically lock this out. And they'll do this. And you know, it's, it's a constant struggle. But the fact that it's been you know jailbroken now and stuff, I, I know some people who are very excited about that. I'll just put it that way. I mean, you know, you can you can read up more about it if you want. If you actually, you know, hell, you, you might know more about it than I do, you know. But uh, basically, I just think it's cool. It's just kind of a cool story. It's not a, you know, as, as you said, it's beautiful, you know. So, I mean, that, that's, that's cool. Like I said, you know. I'll go ahead and wrap this up here, though. This video is already four minutes long. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.